Oh, there you are. Christian Alexander, actor and showbiz personality here. I was just getting the beer. Treasure Island Beach, though not really an island, definitely is a treasure and well, certainly contains a beach. Overlooked by beautiful vistas, a gorgeous scenic walking path, and sort of squatted on by a prestigious and expensive resort hotel. Treasure Island Beach is located in the Laguna Beach area, Pacific Coast Highway here in California. <sighs> the gentle breeze, a soft SoCal breeze. It does a wondrous job of covering up the smell from the parking garage behind us. You'll notice this beach is used by the Montage Resort Hotel as their inn for oceanfront status. Walking through, the men and women in their ocean-colored shirts have people picked out as not being guests quite easily. Days and days under the boiling SoCal sun, they have it down to a profiling science. They may give you looks, they may call you names, they may prey upon your deepest, most insecurities, but make no mistake, this is a public beach and you have every right to be here just as much as they do. There's something charming about Southern California beaches. It's the women, it's the sand, it's the water, it's the blazing hot sun, and that's why I love coming here. I try to make it a point to kind of have yourself a, a nice day at the beach. It's the women, it's the sand. The women. As much as I love the beach environment, it is only made more sweet by the taste of delicious craft beer. So let's get started. Now this is a really exciting beer. I, I, Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. I really want to dig into this one because it's all about the malty flavor much more than you malty, malty, heavy malt, sort of a caramel color to it. You can drink a lot of these because it's all about the malty, malty. <laughs> you know, I have to say, the biggest mistake the sheeps of the masses of people make when they really are getting into beer is they just lack the knowledge that it takes to really understand what it is that they're drinking. They don't have any idea. <laughs> Young yucksters at bars and breweries. Yeah. Pick a fight with them in front of their girlfriends. I'll just walk right up to her, put my arm around her, and look him in the eye and just say, hey, do you know the difference between an ale and a stout? <laughs> they, just, they just get super defensive. I mean, they'll even cry to their girl like it's their mother. I mean, it's real Freudian stuff, you know? I'm just saying, like, the lesson I'm trying to instill in them is respect your beer. Know what you're drinking. And now, I'm gonna give you, loyal fan, the same lesson on what kind of beer types, what kind of beer types there are, and we're gonna we're gonna drink some beers and we're gonna we're gonna talk about types of beer. So for main beer types, we got a stout, and there's ale, and then there's porters, stout, ale, pale ales, baklava, bach, lager. Of course, of course, there's a lot of other stuff. You know, there's stouts. It's, um, it's dark and uh, it's Belgian style. Although I'm not a fan of the Belgian style, it tastes like Brussels sprouts and phlegm to me. I could be wrong though. I don't. Light lager is probably the baby face poster child for beer. Light, easy on the eyes, innocent enough. Like most children, it's always up for a good time. Bach beer, now, now, das a Deutsch Übermensch beer, yeah? Sprickin' Rockenbacher, yeah? Wagner's Lager, it's Docker de Bacher, yeah? All these beer types really were popularized when Michael Jackson moonwalked his way onto the scene and being sort of a controversial figure sort of introduced this idea of having different beer styles. I believe if Michael Jackson said it was okay, then it's okay. You got port, which is porter. Then you got stout, like a fat pork with a snout. 